You don't need to buy a GPU anymore after AMD launches these new APUs. According to new leaks and rumors, upcoming AMD APUs, the strict point Halo APUs are going to be crazy good. As good as you don't even need to buy a GPU to play games at high FPS and high settings. Wanna know more? Watch this video till the end. According to the CEO Dr. Lisa Su, this strict point APU will be a major stepping stone for the company when it comes to AI performance and power efficiency. Although she didn't mention anything about their upcoming Granite Ridge 9000 series desktop CPUs, we know that these new CPUs are coming at 2024. And people are speculating that we're gonna know further about these CPUs in Computex this year and they're gonna launch it at the end of summer season and before the holidays. Now, if you don't know, 9000 series is not gonna be a full-fledged new architectural improvement the 9000 series uh, improvement over 8000 series APUs which were built on top of Zen 4 and this is gonna be built on top of a Zen 5 but it's gonna retain a Zen 2 GPU cores but this video is not about that this video about the Strix Halo which is supposed to be launched at 2025 and not only these new APUs are using Zen 5 cores but also using RDNA 3.5 GPU architecture inside them which means that we're gonna see a significant improvement over Ryzen 9000 Granite Bridge and Ryzen 8000 Hawkpoint APUs. In a recent video of Moore's Law is Dead, he discussed about these new Strix Halo APUs and according to these leaks, which gonna give discrete GPUs a run for its money. First, we're gonna see Strix Halo variant where we can see a 16 core, 12 core or an 8 core C CPU variant, but the most impressive thing is they're gonna have a 40 RDNA 3.5 CUs, which in turns same performance as RTX 4070. And I'm not talking about a RTX mobile, RTX 4070 mobile series or RTX 4070 low powered series. I'm talking about a full fledged. RTX 4070, it's direct competitor or it's going to be equivalent to RTX 4070. Next, we can also see some other Strix Halo Point CPUs which are going to have 12 or 8 cores and they're going to have 32 RDNA 3.5 CUs which are going to be same performance or in the same GPU class as RTX 4060. Then there are also other 8 and 6 core versions where we can see 24 or 32 RDNA 3.5 CUs specifically in here we can see a little lower frequency which are gonna be as same class as RTX 4050 and lastly we can see some low powered very low powered chips where we can see 8 and 6 cores which gonna also have 20 RDNA 3.5 CUs which in terms of performance is gonna give competition to RTX 3050. Now people who are into emulation, people who are into low powered gaming, people who are into home theater PC, it's gonna be a gem for them and I am eagerly waiting for these CPUs although we don't know the specific price point, the specific release date and also the TDP range where these CPUs gonna fall into. These are very early leaks and rumors so always take them with a grain of salt but if these rumors and leaks comes true then boy oh boy AMD is gonna have some great APUs on their hand like how great it is when you like my videos I really appreciate when you do that so don't forget to do that and if you didn't like it okay you can just like it. it's gonna hurt me it's gonna hurt me but I will allow it yes I am allowed man so you can dislike if you want to and if you subscribe to the channel you can do it by here and if you watch more videos from here from us well Watch this video. I hope you find this useful. Until then, this is Akash and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.